Hey guys, it's me Posh Love and I'm back at you with another video. This time I'm going to be bringing to you my wash day routine in depth. I'm going to be showing you guys my hair for most of this video because to be honest, that's what I like to watch and I just love wash day videos and I had to do one. So I'm starting off on pre-pooed hair. The benefits of pre-pooing is that it reduces and removes shed hair and it also provides a moisturized base so that the shampoo is less stripping. And what you see here is I'm just rinsing my hair really, really thoroughly and making sure I get all the pre-poo out. I just used, you know, um, some olive oil and like a Tresemme conditioner to pre-poo. And that's it. Um, a little bit of background about me. I'm fairly new to like the YouTube community. I've been, I discovered YouTube in 2014 and I had no clue about what to do with my natural hair, or how to take care of it, how to style it or anything like that. I'm still not any good at styling, but I know exactly what my hair needs. I know my hair and that's a big deal to me because I had no idea how to care for my natural hair until I found the natural hair community that is so dear to my heart and I just was like well I want to be a part of that movement and so you know here I am right now inserting myself into the movement and I had been relaxed um, since I was about 12 years old maybe 10 years old and all the way up until 30 years old so I've been relaxed for 20 years and had no clue how to care for my natural hair whatsoever. But here I am now and I'm starting with the shampoo. I'm using the Trader Joe's brand Nourish Spa shampoo. And they did change the formula. I heard that here on YouTube again at the natural hair community but I really love the way the shampoo smells the way it works on my hair I love the lather so I use the shampoo and conditioner that matches so here I'm just rinsing out the shampoo really thoroughly this is my first shampoo and as you can see the benefits of the pre-poo my hair is still defined even after I shampoo and it's still easy to work with but my scalp is clean. I'm just going to go in again with another more thorough shampoo because I'm going to be using a shampoo tool. So here you see me just separating my hair, going through it, and adding more shampoo to it. So here you see me using my beautiful tool, another tool that I discovered here in the natural hair community on YouTube, my favorite place to be. It's the Vanity Planet Scalp Massager and it, ha it comes with one battery. Well, it doesn't come with the battery, but it takes one AA battery and it vibrates and the little um, spikes on it are silicone. So they just, it may, it's just feels so good. Feels it feels so, so feels good. It feels good on me too. <laughs> That's my four-year-old saying the scalp massager feels good on him, so he preferred me to use that, you know, as opposed to my nails on his scalp. So I'm just rinsing out that second shampoo. And this is a time, as a stay-at-home mom, like, I'm always with the children. Um, I'm also a home... I'm also a homeschooling mom, so I spend all of my days, all of my nights with the children, which I love doing this. This is what I always want in my own family and everything like that, but it's just so hard as the mom of the family to find time for yourself. Here, I'm just conditioning with the Nourish Spa conditioner, and I'm just using a dime size. Psych! <laughs> 
you know that that's a lie. No dime size over here for this type four hair. But, um, so I just work the conditioner through and then I separate my hair for a more thorough detangling. So there are three stages to my detangling um, regimen. First I start out finger detangling, then I go in with a shower comb, and finally I go in with a demon brush for maximum detangling. And I really like to do this on my wash day, but most of the time to be honest, I finger detangle you know, in between wash days, if I'm just going to co-wash or, you know, I've gone swimming and I'm just conditioning my hair, I do a light finger detangle and then I just do whatever style I'm going to do, which is most of the time a ponytail or some twists. So as you can see here, this conditioner has a lot of slip. It does have a silicone in it. It's dimethicone and it's water soluble, so it's you're able to rinse it out without shampooing. So it's not so bad, but I really do love this conditioner and I also use it as a styler sometimes. But in this wash day, I'm just gonna be detangling with this conditioner and then I'm going to be deep conditioning with it as well. So here I'm focusing on my crown, detangling my crown, adding more conditioner to my crown. Everyone knows the crown is the most, let's say the most, I don't want to say the most difficult because it's not. Let's say the crown is the strongest part of our hair. It's our crown, you know, it's where our crown chakra is. Once I'm done detangling, I just twist everything down and move on to the next section. And you guys, I just want to tell you that I'm just so excited about my hair journey here on YouTube. Now, I'm starting out from a bald head big chop and basically I, um, I did that in the end of 2015, so I'm two years, two and a half years into my bald head big chop hair journey. And I'm just now figuring out like exactly what my hair needs. I'm just so excited and I'm going to grow this hair you see here down to my tailbone. And I want you guys to take the journey with me. And I also want to let anyone know, you know, if they want to <clears throat> contribute to the natural hair movement or any movement or anything they have to offer to the world or any information or any Thing that could be helpful to someone else just to see you do it um, throw it up here on YouTube because I love YouTube I watch videos all the time all kinds of different videos all kinds of different people and it's just a pleasure to see everyone you know find their groove and share it with the world
hair I'm preparing for deep conditioning and I'm going to on top of my um, conditioner that I have I'm going to slather some organic olive oil right on my crown and I'm going to get it on my other strands as well but I'm just directly putting it on my crown and I'm just putting my cap on for deep conditioning and this concludes this video off to deep conditioning I hope you guys enjoy the video if you want to see more like this like comment and subscribe and see you soon